Hi guys, Alex Underwood here and welcome back to my channel, my aliens. I just realized as I was editing this video that we either lost the, out the intro or never recorded it. So for today's video, I am doing my sister's makeup for her birthday party and it is a very fun pop of color. This is Sav, Hi. say hello. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm so sorry for this crazy out of place intro. I hope you guys enjoy. I went ahead and put down a base of foundation and concealer so we had something for the eyeshadow to stick to and of course I went ahead and did her brows off camera. To start out before going in with any sort of powder, I went in straight with Gonzo from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I put that all in the crease and partially on the lid and in the outer corner just because that's going to be the base color for where we're going to put all of the other shadows and what it's going to blend into. So I went ahead and put that down everywhere and where I wanted it to go. Make sure to pat it into place before you blend it out. You want to pack on as much color as possible to really get the punch of that bright blue going so it still shows when we add the darker tones underneath. I'm also going in with shade Sphere from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette and I'm using that as my transition shade to transition that bright blue into the skin color that we have in between that and the brow. And that's going to be used as my transition color and it's going to help blend everything together so it's not just the straight blue to skin tone, it's more of a blue to a light green to the skin tone. And then of course I am just patting that color on and then blending it out after it is saturated with that green. Then of course I am just going back and forth every time blending everything, making sure it is seamless. Any time that it isn't blending as much as I want it to, I go back and forth between a white shade, which is my extra creamy from the Too Faced Peanut Butter Palette and the Sphere shade to make sure that it is light and blended in a transition way to where it isn't just a crazy bright blue line or a bright green line on her eye. I wanna make sure that there's some movement there. So I'm just going back and forth and making sure everything is blended before moving on to the next step. Then I'm going in with Swallow from the Jeffree Star Endorogeny palette. This is a dark blue and I'm just focusing this on the outer quarter and the innermost crease part of the eye. I don't want this to drag out too far because I want it to really sink in and make her eyes look super dark and deep and just very sultry. So I pack on that blue ton at a time and then I just blend it out with the shade Gonzo to make sure that it is seamlessly moving and transitioning between all of the colors. So for her outer corner, her crease and her transition, I went in with I went in with Sphere for the transition color, and then in between that and the dark blue, I used Gonzo from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and then this dark blue here is Swallow from the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette. And next we're gonna go in with kind of like a lime green shimmery shade for the lid. Next I am going in with shade Mean from the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette, and I am spraying my brush with my Urban Decay Setting Spray to help give that shimmer more pop because I really want this part to glow and really pop up against that blue. I want the lime to just, like I said, I want it to glow. I want it to be very stark. I want it to show that there's a difference, and then of course I just use Swallow to help transition and blend those two colors together into the outer corner. Of course, packing on the color and then blending it out after you have it to the payoff that you want it to be. For the lid, I went ahead and went in with Mean from the Urban Decay Electric what Palette. What's it called? Mean. I thought you said Mame. Mean. It's from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I put that all over the lid and blended it in with the blues that we put down. I want to make a color for five dollars. No, I don't know. I don't. I want to make a palette, like a, a decent, like a, a decent palette, and I want all the shades to have something to do with names. I want there to be a shade that's red and it's called Mean. Tell Jeffrey. Okay. Jeffrey, I want a Mean palette. 
Next, I'm going all over her face with her foundation. She is shade 115 in the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and I am just bouncing that all over her face. Then I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade Fair and just blending that on the high planes of her face. setting everywhere with my RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. Then I'm going to go under the eye with a bright pink. This is shade Savage from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And this is just so there's another color in the mix. She really wanted a, a bright warm tone color against the cool tone colors. And I thought that it just really accented the blues and the greens that we picked really well. So I went ahead and popped this under the eye and blended it out, of course, so it was more of like a smoky pink. All right, so under the eyes, I went in with Savage from the Urban Decay. Because <laughs> I'm Savage. From the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I'm gonna go in with some just straight awesome. black liner. This is the Kat Von D liner. I'm Sav aging. I'm here. Get it? Because I'm name is Sav, and tomorrow's my birthday. Yes. Oh, I'm so funny. Um, so I contoured her face with the Hula Bronzer. Now we're gonna highlight to the gods. We're gonna use the Moonchild Glow Kit and we're going in with shade Lucky Clover. I only wanna, I wanna do full face highlighter. That's all I wanna be all the time. When it comes to highlight, it's very similar to an eyeshadow, so you wanna make sure that you pack on that color before you blend it out to make sure that you get the payoff and the intensity that you want from the color. <laughs> oh my god, wait. <laughs> Oh, I heard was chug chug with you. Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> hi! So you're still down there. No, I moved a while ago. That's why when I heard you, I got scared. <laughs> I just wanted to chug chug with you. You can even spray it with the setting spray to help give it a little more pop and a little more shine than it usually has. That kind of adds a kick. I did the same thing with the lid color that we put down. So much. Let's get a close up, actually. That's Shit. Cool. Hold on. Let's let's zoom. Close rice. Oh yes. Wow. 
Alright guys, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I loved making it because I sure had a bunch of fun doing her birthday makeup this year. Go ahead and wish her a happy birthday even though it'll be late by the time this is up because, you know, that's just nice to do. So, uh, what do you think, Savannah? I really like it. I'm happy I chose the colors I did. We just have to find an outfit. <laughs> that won't be too hard. We'll figure it out. But if you want to hang out with her when she's not on YouTube or hanging out with me, go ahead and follow her. Um, my Instagram is at Sav Underwood, at Sav Underwood. My Twitter is at Sav Underwood. And my Snapchat is Savvy Underwood with one B. And my Snapchat is Alex underscore Underwood. And my Instagram and Twitter are Alex with two X's 2017. Do not forget that second X because you won't be able to find me if you do forget it. And you guys can also look me up on my website, which will always be linked down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications for when I upload. I upload every Thursday. And I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye, my aliens.